Hello everyone, my name is Damian. This is going to be Beginner's Java lesson number 15. And this is going to be the hardest lesson yet. This lesson we're going to go over um, methods. So today we're finally going to kind of start talking about the stuff that will explain what is meant by this public static void mainstring args, this public class lesson. Uh, we're going to start sort of showing other things that we can do there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the line above public static void mainstring args and we're going to add a bunch of lines. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to make two numbers. So we're going to say int uh, number one equals 125 um, if I could type right and number two equals one two three four five okay and so what we're going to do right now is show a few different things number one is we're going to show that when we're using java we're doing what's called passing by value meaning we can pass something into a method and it doesn't necessarily, although sometimes it does, it doesn't necessarily overwrite what we're doing in the value that passed into it. So let me first show you kind of what I'm talking about. So first things first, we're going to come up here uh, right below where it says public class lesson and we're going to type public static and we're going to make this a void and we're going to name it add numbers and we're going to take in int a and int b and I named them that way for a reason and so we're going to simply say system dot out dot println uh, let's do the sum of the numbers is plus open parentheses a plus b close parentheses semicolon at the end of it and then we're going to come down here and we're going to do add numbers a comma b just like that and so uh, oops I'm sorry number one and number two okay so we do that we save it we run it and you'll notice that it says the sum of the numbers is 1000 or 12,470. So what does that do? What did we just do here? So you'll notice that we go into this add numbers uh, function. It's called a method in Java. It's a function in C++. Sorry for that confusion. So we send number one and number two into this method up here. And so we're going to talk for a minute about what each of these means in just a second. But first, let's talk about what actually happens. So when these numbers are sent up, number one and two, they get translated in order, meaning that it sees as arguments passed to it, number one. And so what they're doing really is they're saying A equals number one b equals number two and that's that's all this statement up at the top is actually doing so when you see that that's why we don't need to have number one and number two up there because what it's really doing is it's taking brand new variables and it's setting them equal to the values of the number that we passed in so I want you guys to keep that in mind. I, I suppose I'll keep that here even though it's not really... Uh, that's correct enough so I'm willing to leave it there. So from there all we do is a simple output. So let's talk about what each of these means. Public is known as an access modifier. So in this case what public means is that it can be invoked from anywhere within our project. That doesn't mean anything to you. Static basically means that it can only be run from a static environment. Again, that doesn't really mean much to you. Uh, we will be getting more into static in a few more lessons though. 
void is where it starts meaning something. And so void means that uh, we are not returning any value. And I will show you one where we do return a value instead. Um, so the void simply means that we're doing something in here or not doing something in here where we don't need to get anything back from this. We pass in numbers and then we don't care about them anymore. Add numbers is simply just a name for our method. So let's change this. Instead of void, let's have it return an int. Okay. So instead of outputting, what we're going to do is we're going to put a statement called return and we'll simply put a plus b. And so what we'll do here is we'll make ourselves a new variable called int total equals add numbers a plus b system dot out dot println the sum of and then we'll do number one plus plus and then we'll do plus again number two plus is plus total. Sorry about the amount of pluses in that. Uh, concatenating strings like that is a little bit of a pain, but I like to have my format. I'm very particular about my format. So we do that and what we're seeing now is we pass in these numbers, numbers one and two, into this uh, method up here and it now populates our variable total which comes out here. So let's talk a bit about how that happens and and what that means. So what we have here is we have a, a sort of a mathematical function which is why I, I really I like calling these uh, functions more than I like calling them methods. Because with a function you know you have a preset uh, way that you're going to handle everything that gets passed in there. So in algebra, if you have a function where you add three to everything, you know, that means that anything that gets passed into that function is increased by three. Similarly, anything that gets passed into this function is summed and then it's returned. You saw that I could do this as void and simply output the variable. So a lot of the time, this is a spot where programs can get sort of sticky because you end up with uh, the ability to either get something back or to use it at the time. And so you, you end up with a lot of options around what you can do there. Now let's make another uh, uh, variable uh, method here, rather, where we do something similar that's a little bit more insidious. So we're going to do public static int prod sum int a comma int b and just like usual you'll notice that I'm able to reuse these same variable names um, actually you know what let's do x and y so you guys don't think I'm reusing them however I could because these variables die at the end of their scope I said that a few lessons ago um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to return x times y, and that's going to be the product. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a system.out.println, and we're going to do the sum of the, uh, let's just do it this way, the sum of plus x plus, plus, ugh, so many pluses, plus y plus equals plus quote x plus y. So like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do something like int product. And we're going to change that over. And we're going to change that to product. And we need to change total to product there. Oops, plus product. Okay, and so we're going to give that a save and once again we're going to run it. And you'll notice that we have now gotten back this uh, this line of code. Oop, I'm sorry. 
prod sum. Now let's run it. So you'll notice that we get two lines back now. One where it's outputting the sum, meaning that we're doing something inside of this method. And then we're returning that value to product. So you can really do a lot of things up in a method. There's actually no limit to how much you can do. Um, well, I suppose the limit really becomes how much RAM you have, but that's not really a good limit. Um, or how much memory you allocate your JVM, which is an even more sketchy limit. So what am I saying here? What I'm saying is these methods can be used to automate any task. Anything that you use more than one time, you should consider using method for. And methods work with anything. They work inside of loops. They work inside of ifs. They work inside of switch statements. Once we go a little bit further, just to make matters even more complicated, is objects can have methods as well. And so that's a lot of the time how you can get around using non-static things in a static interface. And we'll get more into what static means in the next episode or two. Um, for now, we don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, next episode, you can look forward to learning more about objects. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow it down and I'm going to do a review lesson on everything we've learned up to this point. So I hope that you guys will join me for that. My name's Damien. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and happy holidays.